It's a warm May night and I'm starting a new deep space astrophotography project, this time the Pelican Nebula in the constellation Cygnus. We're putting up a gazebo out here so we have a nice outdoor space where we can like eat dinner outside. Obviously we need to put the roof on it still. I'm just thinking, is that going to obstruct any sky from the observatory? Nope, we're good. This book is the best by the way. It's just a great reference, nice hard copy. So the Pelican Nebula IC5070 is an emission nebula, a really bright one that lies right next to the North America Nebula. Not to be confused with the North American Nebula, it's North American Nebula. A lot of people get that wrong. The interesting thing, and I can see it in this picture here, a lot of people see Deadpool's face, that mask and those eyes in this nebula. And hopefully in my final picture, you'll see what I mean. Yes, I'm wearing my Cuts hoodie again in this video. I haven't even washed it yet. I don't want to ruin it. I only wear it when I come out here. It's like my special lucky sweatshirt. Mommy's home, Rudy. Mommy's home. Come on, let's go see her. Ash? How'd it go? Good. Rudy, don't you want to see mom? Rudy, go see mommy. Go look. Who is that? You don't want to be on the camera? No, You've got. A Cherry Springs Star Party t-shirt on. Yeah. Oh, they're not space pants. That would have been perfect. No, they're bird pants. So the Pelican Nebula is an IC catalog object. It is 80 by 60 arc minutes in size. Through the telescope I'm using, it fits quite nicely, although I'm really kind of centering this area of the nebula as opposed to capturing kind of the whole thing. You'll see what I mean when I start taking the images. This video was sponsored by Cuts Clothing, which happens to be the makers of the hoodie I'm wearing right now, my lucky hoodie. I love the story of this brand created by Steven in 2016, who wanted to create performance wear that was casual, but also nice enough to wear to work or for a night out and just everyday clothes that, uh, you know, guys like myself really appreciate. This is what I've been looking for for a long time. So you can shop by cut. They have the elongated size, which is great for lanky fellas like myself, the normal regular fit or the, the split hem, which is really nice too. So I'm not a big fashion guy, but uh, I'm happy to be working with such a great company. And I hope to visit their headquarters in Southern California one day, as soon as I'm allowed to leave my house. This is the setup I'm going to be using tonight to photograph the Pelican Nebula. So the Esprit 100 Super Apo, the triplet refractor, and then the ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro monochrome CMOS dedicated astronomy camera. Ooh, what a mouthful. This camera has incredible potential. The dynamic range and that APS-C size sensor in a monochrome format is just really exciting. Then I've got the filter wheel here, the, the ZWO filter wheel, seven position with chroma three nanometer narrowband filters in there. So to photograph the Pelican tonight, I'm gonna to be shooting it in H-alpha and O3. It's gonna be a bi-color image. I have really high hopes for this camera to take my best version of the Pelican Nebula yet. Something I forgot to mention about the Pelican Nebula that makes it a great beginner target is that there's a really bright star in the field. Deneb is right next to the Pelican Nebula and the North American Nebula for that matter. That makes focusing a lot easier even with a narrowband H-alpha filter. That star is plenty bright enough for you to use a Batonoff mask or just the live view to really focus in that star. So that's really nice and then you just need to uh, hop over to the Pelican Nebula right next door once you're focused. So that's super handy. I am up and running taking H-alpha subs on the Pelican Nebula now. Uh, 300 seconds each unity gain on the ASI 2600mm Pro uh, and then I've got it set to take 3003 sub exposures uh, five minutes each after that so this camera is going to be running until about four in the morning 
Um, and I'm, I'm actually going to try and get some sleep and then uh, I'll pop back out here to make sure everything's okay at four uh, and then start taking darks and then shut her down and put everything away in the morning. So fingers crossed for a great image of the Pelican Nebula. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride again and until next time, clear skies.